Hey everybody, it's Shannon Star and Crystal here for another review of Legends of Tomorrow. This time it's Return of the Mac. Return of the Damien. Yes, Damien Dark is back. Oh, you gotta love it. When did Oliver touch his watch? I don't know, at some point during their fight. <laughs> apparently he was wearing that watch in their final fight. What I kind of want to check if he actually was I wearing it. I guarantee you he won't, but they could make an argument of like it was under his sleeve or something. Yeah. Whatever, it gives us an excuse to give Curtis a tiny cameo. Yeah. Fair enough. It's an easy way to go. <laughs> Whatever, we think it's vampires, it's not vampires, it's just a hilarious coincidence because some guy had a true needle. Yeah. Whatever, Rip's here, which meant, I don't know, it was kind of nice to have Rip here and you got to have some little callbacks and stuff with Sarah and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, this, air, this episode did have quite a few focuses. It focused on Zari once again, giving us this more focus on kind of her backstory and her... And I did, I do like the friendship between Zari and Amaya. One, because totem buddies, and two, because of the whole past and future dynamic. Yeah, that's a good point. It's like one of them's from the past, one's from the future. It's a good idea to mix it together. They're... Like, I loved how Amaya was standing next to her when she said, oh, I hate being in an era where women can't vote and the internet doesn't exist. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's clever. And Amaya's just there, like, thinking, yeah, normal to me. Wait, well, women could vote when Amaya's uh, from. Okay. But there you go, yeah. Still, yeah, being I get... black and a woman, she understands her fair share of history sucks. Yeah, so, yeah, more good Zari scenes, and you're right, I enjoy the dynamic they've got going, but you did bring up an interesting part. How the hell do you pray when you're in a temporal zone? Yeah! I don't know if they were in the temporal zone at that scene, but how can she face Mecca if the, the temporal zone... Whatever. That's their own problem. Mm. And for some reason, the guy looks like Stein, just because, I guess. I mean, yes, I know he's an ancestor, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, but Damien Dark's back, and oh boy, that scene was so fun. It's exactly what you need. Damien Dark using his magic to oh, a fun... Oh, and mysteriously, when he disappeared, he took that woman with him. True. And they had another time-traveling black rock that the water girl had. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, that se boy, was that scene so fun. The music, the Damien, the magic, everything, exactly what you need. Oh, yeah, definitely. There is a bit of an oddity at hand because he, he says he remembers, but if you remember in season two, Sarah wiped his memory right before putting him in back into the timeline. Oh, yeah, because otherwise it would screw with things because he might act differently. Exactly. But oh well, and then we've still got the side plot of Jack's wanting to split up Firestorm, which leads to a fun plot of Jack's not remembering things. So yeah, lots of little plots going on, and all. I, of... It was kind of stupid that he didn't bother to say, "Hey, Stein, just to double check, you are cool with splitting up Firestorm, right?" And hey, by the way, do you want to help? You're you're a smart guy. You should be helping. You created Firestorm. Yeah, I know, but still. <laughs> Oh, every plot thread was enjoyable. The Jack's plot thread, oh, Zari, yeah. Yeah. Rip, all of them were good. And, you know, you got some nice callbacks with Rip. And, and of course, it's our first confrontation with Mollus because we heard about Mollus and now Rip's after Mollus and then Mollus was speaking to us. So there you go. Yeah. But, yeah, this was good old-fashioned legends. Fun villain scene. Zari's an idiot, though, because she handed her yes, totem to the woman. If it were me, I would have kept hold of the chain at least and said, all right, touch the main bit if you need to, to be psychic, but I'm holding the chain. Yeah, I know. Zari was dumb in that moment. But still, lots of good scenes for Zari. Everybody with... does that, though, on TV. They're like, oh, I need to hold something special. Here, have the most important thing to my character. Like Yugi at the beginning I of season two. That. I was about to say yes. that. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. Oh, here, I didn't. I need to hold something important to you. Here, I'll give you my important thing. Bye, it's mine now. Well, like I said, every character had good scenes. Sorry, had good scenes, like you said, and Jax and Rip and all of them had good scenes. Fun scenes with Damien and the music. It's exact. This is quintessential Legends. It's exactly got all the hallmarks of a Legends episode. Fun, but still some good character all scenes. Alright, then eight. Eight point five for me. Okay. The next episode is called Helen Hunt. 
Ah, now yeah. that's the thing I was thinking of. I know, there's a lot of fun ones. Man, season three is so good. Yep, I know exactly what's happening next time. So do I. But yeah, this should be fun. We're starting to get the ball rolling. We've got Damien, we've got Mollus, we've got a lot of things. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, we'll see you next time for more Legends and other things as well. See, see you, you next, next time, time guys. guys.